All right, unmuting. Uh. Daddy here on time. What? Daddy here on time. <laughs> God damn it, Koki. <laughs> Did she say? Daddy harem time. What? Yeah, no, I. I... <laughs> uh. This is Koki we're talking about, and you're questioning it. So they actually <laughs> daddy, and she essentially in Spanish asked me what the fuck is wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> This one, I Anyways, let's start with the Arcanines, shall we? Yep. Top left. Give me a second, give me a second. Uh... Also, with the there's, there's, there's still no S, there's still no F tier for this. One of does F tier but me. There we go. Uh, wish me luck, I'm trying to see if I can. Get another shiny Tatsugiri. <laughs> Good luck. <coughs> All right. Uh, do do do. Right. So starting with the good boy Arcanine. You know what? I think both designs would go to S tier. Yay. Uh, fire type Arceus. I mm, I'm putting it on C tier, actually. You're you're kinder to it than I ever was. <laughs> yeah, because it feels like it's just Arceus, but with a different color scheme. That's it. Yeah, that's literally that's why I put it. Why I put it in <laughs> F when I was doing these tier lists. I was going to say, that's literally all of them, but I will admit, some of the color changes are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, eh. Blacephalon. I never actually... Yes. I've never actually used it, but I like its design, so I guess I'll put it in B. It's a fucking crazy explosive clown. Uh... You know, Cookie. You know, Cookie. <laughs> Shiny! Shiny, let's see if I don't fucking make the same mistake as last time. Uh. Are you looking at... Wait. You. Uh, Alright, a uh, Holland fried chicken is an A. <laughs> uh. Braxton's cute. I think I'll go ahead and put that in A as well. Where the fuck did you go? Oh, there you are, little Let motherfucker. Let me know. Remy finds Fox Girls cute. <laughs> And they're All so right. they're so cuddly with their floofy tails. Wait, which one did he put in? Uh, uh Brightson. He put Brightson in A. Oh. Okay, took me a second to realize this is this is all arranged oh, yeah, alphabetically. Oh yeah, it's oh, arranged alphabetically. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I just I was, that. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, oh yeah, it's alphabetical. Because I was gonna say, if you did that with nine tails, uh. You better watch it because you're gonna get cursed big time. <laughs> uh, let's see, Karkle, I think I think from a design standpoint, it is totally an S rank because it is genius having a freaking you know sentient mine cart. Yeah. I remember when Garen was doing his tier list back in Gen Eight. He ragged hard on the Galar Pokemon. He's from England, and he he felt they did not really do his country justice. <laughs> there's always at least one. Uh, yeah, there's always at least one. To be fair, he also dis he also seems to just dislike Pokemon past Gen Five period. Sent a scorch and uh, Gigantamax sent a scorch. That was my mouse. I thought it was a smudge on my screen. It was my mouth. Uh, Chandelure. Well, the fact that you don't order these is like bothering me so much because I'm like, <sighs> Chandelure would be above this. Was like, oh wait, no, he's just like flat S tier. He doesn't actually order them like yeah. a sane person would. 
Boris. Uh, Boris. Be glad you're not going through what happened to a friend of mine uh, a couple of years ago. Somehow a moth got inside his laptop screen and got crushed under it. Oh. That is gross. Let's but see. Yeah, it was just it was just my mouse because I had my mouse like at the bottom of my screen, like barely off screen. In fact, I'm like, is that a smudge? Because I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, oh, is that a smudge? I'm just gonna try to scratch it off, and then it wouldn't come off. I was like, okay. And I moved my mouse. I'm like, oh, that's just my mouse. Okay, so here's gonna be <clears throat> no pun intended. No pun intended. This is gonna be a hot take. Okay. I will concede that Charmander and Charizard, design-wise, <laughs> A-tier. Part of the reason I'm not putting Charizard any higher than that is because it's actually, like, not the best gameplay-wise, contrary to popular also belief. It's over, also, it's overhyped to hell and back. That, too. I mean... It's not good gameplay wise. Yeah, that's why they had to keep giving it Mega Evolution, Max, and everything else. <laughs> Although I, I will concede that the, um, what was it, uh, Char Mega Charizard X and uh, G Max Charizard are pretty freaking awesome designs. Uh, I love also let me say oh, it's bad gameplay wise, and yet we we have like. Story Pokemon was terrible. Dual type, dual typings in S tier. Yeah. You can just say Charizard's overrated. Yeah. It's not even a dragon. It's a lizard with wings. It sucks. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chimchar. I think I'll. I got the, I got the second shiny Tatsugiri. Nice. Uh, uh let's now see. Four. Let's see, Tim okay. Chim Chimchar. I'll, I'll. Uh... Chimchar has the fucking Charizard. Be, right. um, at this point, without all the like extra forms, because people dick ride that monkey hard. <clears throat> Phrasing. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I look, Remy. I know what I said. <laughs> he said ra he said ram that monkey hard. That doesn't. Sounds at all sexual, like when. I said, Doesn't... "Dick ride that monkey hard." Oh, okay. That's even worse. Fucking hell! I was, gonna say, I was gonna say, "How the hell is the other thing sexual?" But okay, never mind. I didn't hear. It all right. right. Uh, Cinderace, uh... Cinderace, and G Max Cinderace definitely top tier. I guess I could say the same thing for Colossal and its G Max form. Uh, I, like uh, I put Blaziken in A. I would put Combuskin in B. Just be purely because of the whole middle evolution stage problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cyndaquil is S tier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And so is, uh... So lava and both type cushions. What's that? Uh, yeah, no, I, I would I would agree with Koki on this one. Uh, Quilava and... I, hmm? I would put them in low A, but they would make it to S for me, unfortunately. Uh, I personally... They, I know I'm alone on that in this call. Where is, uh, it... I don't know. Here's my hot take. Oh, the and Typhlosions are... Isn't anything special. Typhlosions aren't on here. Oh, what? Oh, wait, nope. There they are. There they are. <coughs> <coughs> you had me second guess myself. I'm like, I mean, sure, but what is like... Because, because honestly, I, I thought the whole thing was arranged alphabetically, so when I saw Pyroar I, and I didn't see Typhlosion after it, I was like, "Wait a second, is Typhlosion not on here?" Wait, and then I second, I mean, and then I took another look, and I'm like, "Oh, they're over here." I mean, P does not come immediately after P. 
No, no, no. I get that. I meant in... <sighs> Never mind. I meant later in the sequence, not immediately after. Fair enough. Alright. Uh... Torchic is adorable. And so is Tepig. Actually, no. Tepig, I'm putting an S tier. Pretty much the whole Tepig line I'm putting in S tier. <laughs> because it's... Embor is... Oh! Y'all right there? Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Smack... I actually smacked my laptop from underneath and nearly set careening off my lap. Let's see. My hand hurts <laughs> now. But yeah, I am putting the whole M Embor line on S tier because, you know... It's bacon that cooks itself. <laughs> um, I think I'll put... You know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put Incineroar in S tier too. Ooh, a spicy take. Spicy take. People hate on Incineroar a lot. Yeah, just because it's bipedal and it's just like... I, I still want to know... Where that guy on Tumblr who was like, who was like, oh look at these fake designs for the final alone, final form alone starters. When the games come out, they look completely different. I'll be here to laugh at you guys. Wonder where, wonder where he is. <laughs> uh, probably trying to forget it. Um, <laughs> the internet. Unfortunately for him, the internet <coughs> never forgets. No. He put that out into Tumblr. People are still making jokes about him to this day. Let's... Like damn near, like damn, like damn near eight years later. All right. Uh... Oh, those games came out came out back when I was in college. Yeah. Right, um... Put Nine Tails on S tier because it's pretty. And yes, I'm making myself sound old because I guarantee you there's probably a ton of people out, probably like millions of people out there who played Sun, Sun and Hold Moon on. where that was their first game ever and they were little kids. Uh... And now they're like old enough to have like a YouTube or YouTube account. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um... You're talking to the person whose first game was Pokemon Crystal. You're you're talking to someone whose first game was Pokemon Red. I mean, mine was Pokemon Red too, but guess what? It was when it first came out. I had um, Pokemon Red for the first time when I was two. It was 99. It wasn't that long after Red came out. Let's see. Uh... Mate, my... Mate, ever since I can remember, I've been a Pokemon fan. I totally. Okay, uh, Mega Camerupt. Definitely putting that in S tier. I started watching the anime when it first came out. Do not flex on me. I've been playing these games since before I could actually read, <laughs> which was a terrible idea. But yeah, the only reason why I even started getting into Pokemon games was because my dad. As he puts it, made the mistake of getting me Pokemon Crystal. Uh, <laughs> I've forgotten more about Pokemon than you could ever remember. I mean, that's true, Remy, because you have a terrible memory. Shut up. So, <laughs> like, my I dad... love how you're like, don't flex on you. Okay, fine, let's settle it and show down. <laughs> but, yeah, my dad regrets getting me into video games. Because oh, that was only supposed to be for when you're a kid. It didn't. It, it shouldn't have gone on until you, your current age. Oh uh, uh, yes, the whole games are for kids thing. Then what the? Then why the fuck is there an M rating? And it's really it's funny. Like, it's like when people. It's like when people say that cartoons are for kids. It's like bruh. Remember, adults make them. Yeah. And it was really even more funny the fact that my dad is so. My dad used to play. Is this what I think it is? Oh, I found another shiny. Uh. Yay. 
go yeah. put Vol. Remy? Yeah. Remy. What? Vulpix in in A. I put Nine Tails in S. Yeah, that's fair enough. Actually, I know it's not on this tier, obviously, but how do you feel about a Lola Nine Tails? Alola yeah, Nine Tails yeah. is beautiful. It is so pretty. I would totally. It's also yeah. It is. It is Nine Tails, but fluffier, and I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I like both versions too. Uh. Like Nine Regular Nine Tails is my favorite Gen One Fire type, other than Magmar. And mm. aside from Crabomable, excuse me. My favorite Gen 7 Ice type is Alolan Ninetales. Uh, okay. Th this one's gonna be a little this one's gonna be a little controversial. I'm not that big a fan of female Pyroar's design. Ooh, yeah, that is controversial. Yeah, no, I it's just the hair looks so it's so goofy. Like, it makes sense for male Pyroar, what he has, but female... I was going to say, it kind of, it kind of, I kind of see where you're going with that, but, yeah. That's because, that's because they're also basing it on, like, tribal deck head pieces and stuff that they were in Africa. Okay, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. fair, but it, it's just also given that these two, what, didn't they premiere in in um Kalos in Kalos? the yeah. in, in the gen six, in the gen 6 games yeah which is supposed to be based on France so it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb well they're not the only uh, ones yeah, because... sticks out like a sore, sticks out like a sore thumb meanwhile we've got what like we got we've got uh we got British pan... elephants we got pangoro oh. who's a who's a panda which is an animal native to China and France. Yeah. Okay, all right, you know what? Fair. Yeah. And as for the elephants, I think that's also based on the fact that, some, that like, apparently someone was gifted an elephant back in the br early British royal times. That and there's also the fact that, uh... Oh, go ahead. Oh, that and, I believe, uh... Because because of stuff like that and they've actually had a couple places in the UK named after elephants like I think uh, what was it the MI6 building in London is specifically nicknamed the white elephant oh, also let's not pretend like a gorilla starter fits Galar okay I'm yeah Fair point. I mean, well, you know what? Actually, actually, what if they're not actually native to Galar and the Galarians just brought them from other countries like they did artifacts? I would believe it. <laughs> Galar is based on the UK and UK did, and uh, Great Britain did have uh, an empire, so they conquered a lot of places uh, where there were elephants, gorillas. Yeah, but notice yeah, but notice, I said they brought them back along with all the artifacts. Yeah. It was a joke about, as like, a, yeah. As a Premier, what Premier said in Across the Spiders, this was where stole all of her stuff. <laughs> all right. Uh, I love how that's double. what gets Spot to attack him, because Spot's canonically British. Uh, Mega Blaziken S tier. Yeah, hard not to be. And I guess this. I mean, especially considering how broken it was during uh, during like the uh, the championship with like the um, yeah. What was it like? How it has an eight speed boost and everything. Like it was so it was so good that if you didn't do something about it in like one turn, you were pretty much done for. Yeah. Uh, Remy, infinite finesse. Also, again, you're talking about competitive when we're ra when Remy's rating these based on their looks. Well. Part, partly looks, partly just in general how I feel about them. Yeah, it's like we're not random based on their competitiveness. Otherwise, like, otherwise Mega Charizard Y would be way higher up. I mean, I'm just sort of giving, like, little, you know, bits yeah. of trivia in that case. Yeah, yeah. yeah Remy, Infinite and S. I'm sorry, what? I like the design, and I'm I also like the, the whole, like, Sun Goku motif. 
I'm sorry, what? What? I'm sorry, what? What? You put Magmar in A. But Magmortar mm -hmm. in S. It should be in double, it should be in, it should be in B tier. No, it should be in double B tier because it's a boober. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, uh, Finnegan is cute. I'll put it in A. <laughs> put, put it in H. F hey, put it in F for Furby. <laughs> <laughs> there's no F. There's no F tier because Remy won't make one. <coughs> uh, okay, then put see. it. In H. Uh, okay, so Venikin? not one that's at the fur bait stage yet. Yeah, no, it's oh. Bregson when people start depicting it as fur bait. Because bipedal. <laughs> I think what's more disturbing is it. The reason people are more into Braxian than they are like Bellhawks. I mean, either way, it's creepy. But I think the reason people are more into like Bra Braxian. Braxian is because. The breaks in, the fur, it's the, fur, the fur, okay, whatever. But anyway, the fur looks more like a skirt. So they think it's like, oh, school, school girl. Yeah. I've kind, of, I've kind of noticed that with how people have been depicting it. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Freaky. Uh, Flareon is kind of, <sighs> eh. Like, it's not bad, I'm but, eh. Hey, do not just do not just do not disrespect the do, do not disrespect the flu prophet. I'm not gonna lie, that is that is some nice floof, but Okay, mm. you guys to do it. I will admit though, Flareon is actually my favorite Gen One fire starter, just because even though there's that whole meme about it not having any moves, I just like it because it's floofy. Yeah, fair. <laughs> but yeah, I mean uh... yeah. There. I mean, hey, let's, it, let's hey, it's better. It's better than what? It's better than the treatment Vaporeon gets. Oh uh, yeah, let's not let's get let's into that. Let's not talk about Vaporeon. Vaporeon's I mean, my team illusions. Right. I mean, Forrest, we will have to talk about Vaporeon when he does the water. Uh, oh God. <laughs> but I look yeah, at what. You won't. No. Look at what. <laughs> look at what I posted. No mic. In no mic. Uh, give me just a second. Anyways. Anyways. Oh, no! <laughs> what? In no my chat. Oh, no. What did, you <laughs> what did you fucking do? Oh, no. Uh. Oh, great, and I can't look. <laughs> Good! Aussie, good. Is that Fennekin I mean, where the where the Fennekin's like master? Why are you looking at me like that? Where are your oh, pants? I remember that. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Can we get back on topic? Yes. Um, on topic. Let's move on. Let's see. Uh, I mean, what? Oh, I thought you were pointing in B. I'm like, I mean, no. Well, not the one I was trying to grab, but... <laughs> right, and... Alright, so no salt, and you can do no salt, right. So I'm about to say, putting my boy Dalumaka in B? Oh. Uh, if because it's a... he don't get fetish. What? No! Koki, can you not for like five minutes? <laughs> Let's see. It's not funny, MSO. Dalmaka throws Seriously. poop. Seriously, stop. What's going on? Dude, I'm saying it's your Dalmaka throws poop. Yeah, but why does that fucking connect to Scott fetish? That's some people. Mm -hmm. Let's what? just let's just not talk about Wait. that, please. Wait, who joined? Somebody yes. joined them. Somebody joined. Harry, and I'm sure he's regretting it right now. What <laughs> I'm gonna bloody try to keep the bloody peace in here. Uh. All right, Move let's see. On. Uh, Simi Seer is. Uh... Yes. Like. Simi Seer is fabulous. Just look at his hand gesture. 
it it feels I do, I do like Simi Seer. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm not gonna lie, it Simi Seer feels like the dollar store variant of Infernape. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's better. It's better, it's less flashy, and it's better. I mean I do like I do like uh Simi Seer, but um... But honestly, the yeah. only reason it's also a fire monkey is because it's a gimmick was, monkey. So it can't say chance. Um, yeah. I forget, did the no salt also have no onion? Uh, let me see. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, they still uh, get onion. Okay. Charcadet is adorable. I will put it in A, and I will put Cerulege and Armor Rouge in S. My dog won't let me play my I game. Like I like both. I like both of them, but the rulers I feel like is so much better because of how bitter blade works. Yeah. But they do. They, honestly, and I feel like they were both robbed because their shiny is non-existent. Basically, it's just the eyes. Uh. <laughs> All right. It's, anyways, uh, coming right up. Let's see. Uh, let's do. Let's do heat more next. Heat more. Oh, damn it. Um. It's a pretty interesting idea having an anteater Pokemon, and let alone having it be fire type. So, also, and the fact that its tongue is is it is flaming. Yeah, that is yeah. actually actually. You know what? Since you pointed that out, yeah. Yeah, my boy Ness. Uh, Fletchender. You got you got rank Fletchender. Unfortunately, can't pull off the bird any longer. Uh, I'll put it about there. Heatran is pretty good. Like, it's a simple design, but it conveys a design of power. Oh, I already sent it. Let's see. Gen 4 Legendary. Oh, did we? I guess and we got an extra, then. Alright. You put Fox in S. Actually... This one's kind of old looking. Right. Uh, oh. Lampant actually is pretty cute, so I'll, I'll put that in S. Same for Litwick. <laughs> I I may I may or may not be biased on that front. Thank you, Lumiere. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah, you, uh... may or may not be biased, oh. just like you may or may not be biased for uh camera. <laughs> Not a shiny normal. Nice. Hmm. Speaking of I normal, like shiny normal, the little the little uh, blue spot on the top of the pump. Yeah, cute. he's cute. And it comes black. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, we need a. Oh, we need another Ooh, anyway. Okay. Larvesta. Larvesta, I'll put in A. Kind of, kind of uh, Volcarona, oh, yes. and on that note, Iron Moth, I'll an put S? an S. Wait, we gotta get we gotta get our uh, uh Magby. How do you rank Magby, babe? Hmm. How do you rank Magby? He's a baby Magmar. Tiny boo. Okay. Uh, Mag Cargo. Uh, how do you rank Fast Gen Two Fire Type? Slugma as A. Do it. Mag Cargo as S. <laughs> now for Moltres. Moltres. Firebird. Uh, let's see. Orticorio. I think Orticorio had an interesting gimmick with all its variations. Like, it's got four forms and this one being a flamenco dancer, it's like too perfect. Uh, oh, Pansia. Uh, uh, and the key plane down. Plane's coming right up. Yeah. Hey. Let's... How for Reshiram, the vastly inferior Gen 5 dragon? Reshiram's awesome. <laughs> it is awesome, but like, Zekrom 
I think Zekrom is better. Agreed. And I'm not biased because Pokemon White was my first Gen 5 game. Let's see. Um... Heat Rotom. He Rotom, I would put here because it's an alternate form of Rotom. The type combination is a little, eh. A little weird, but it has levitate, so you don't have to worry about that weakness. Uh. Yeah, Heat Rotom is pretty cool. Now for Fire <laughs> Silvalli. Fire Silvalli. Uh. I hate to say it. Tempted to put it in the same tier as Arceus for the same reason. I mean, I mean uh, you wouldn't really. Be, yeah. You can't really be this big for brain it's time. Concept. Yeah, it's Silvala is literally the Ether Foundation's attempt at recreating God. Uh. Let's Tal see. Tal Tal Talon Flame. I'll go ahead and I'll put it in A tier. Alarm. No joke, that's actually its voice in the anime. Turtonator. Definitely S tier. I do uh... I do like that they took the Wobbuffet approach of a Pokemon based entirely on counter attacking. Except it can actually attack without having the counter, so it's better. Exactly. Uh, Victini. I'm surprised there's no D. V. I'm surprised there's no V tier just for this. Uh, it's disappoint me. Its design is adorable, but uh, I don't. It's... I don't find that much use with it. Now for the first thing, can only sell only. Fire and I mean, water type volcano. In all fairness, I mean, in all fairness, Silver, when you got it in black and white, it was just during like the whole like, you know, bonus episode showing off like some of the. Oh uh, well, yeah, fair, stuff. fair. Like we never we never really used it. It has a really unique type combination with fire and uh, psychic. So yeah, fair. Let me speak. We must now rank volcano the first and currently only fire water type. It attacks using steam. It is a brilliant concept. It actually is. I do agree. I am putting that in S tier. Like, I people were like, well, how would you combine those the... types? How do you combine those types? And there, there's the answer right there. It attacks yeah. using steam. What do you get when you combine fire and water? Steam, steam yeah. Steam, obviously. My I, really I just, just kind of hate the fact that... Uh, so actually, they didn't, they didn't do it anymore. But I was going to say, they basically made it made defog a signature ability and the only one that can learn. Oh no, not defog, uh, scald. Oh, they scald, yeah. Uh, but let's that's... see. Which, that's not really a fault of Volcanians, and they went right, back it... on it anyways. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, um, you know what really fucking bugs me? What? The fact that, uh, whenever, like, a game is made, like, they always drop hints about, uh, oh. the like remakes and it was so it, it was mentioned how okay Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire it there was like I think it was a book or of sorts that said that this was it if you transferred over a Volcanion into Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Some yeah. some it was either a book or a character that stated that Volcanion is the one responsible for producing all that fog in Sinnoh. And um, then we get the oh, yeah. makes that was a huge disappointment. Where the fuck is my Volcanion? Yeah, no, yeah, I because, remember that. <laughs> because they decided, you know what's great? Pure nostalgia. Let's not change anything to make like to make the games feel fresh and new. Let's just do the do Diamond and Pearl completely fucking straight. Yeah, like the and only not even that. They yeah, threw the they, whole they, thing up in the boot. They, they honestly changed what's the underground because they couldn't exactly do it in the same manner as before, given yeah. the different consoles, console system. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. I, uh... still, I still don't entirely blame Ilka for that because of, like, the history Ilka's had. That was really their first major flop. I don't entirely blame them. 
I really mm. feel like that's just they never had experience playing making a Pokemon game, and they were getting like breathing down their necks to make sure this game was perfect because of Nintendo's you know reputation. So they just couldn't deliver. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm reconsidering. I am putting Fue Coco in S tier. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you being a silly kitty? Uh, it's the awkward middle stage evolution. I'm putting that only in A tier. Skeledurge, on the other hand, top tier design. That's time for a uh, habanera. Habanera, I may or may not be biased on this one. <laughs> May or may not be biased because she saved your ass numerous times in Violet. And for finally for the um, fire type Paldean Tauros. Eh, I'm going to put it in C tier just because it's... Eh. Alright, oh there we go. Now let's save it. Oh, save it after the stream, actually. Unless you're covering up your screen. Oh no, you I'm don't just... see your files. No, no, no. It's just, it. It's just recording the the window that it's in. So the the window for saving it as a file is a separate window. Uh, you sure? I think I'll go ahead and put it in the Pokemon channel. I'll make sure about this. So okay, so I found a shiny. Uh, my first shiny Tatsugiri was a. A stretchy form, which I found, which I found like last year, and I named it Salmon because <laughs> that's what it's based on. Nice. The shiny, the shiny, the shiny for that one. So today I finally found a shiny curly form. I named it Eel because apparently it bases is it, it resembles an eel nigiri. And now when it comes to the droopy form, that's going to be difficult because not even Bulbapia can decide on what it resembles. They can't tell if it's a halibut or a squid. Uh, let's see. I'll put the Bulbasaur line... The I'll put... Bulbasaur line is an ass, bitch. I will put Venusaur and G-Max Venusaur in X. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what else is, else is going in S? Victory Bell. <laughs> yeah, freaking Seymour. <laughs> we gotta give Seymour love, you know? Yeah. What? No. Alright. Uh... That's nasty. <laughs> Not that! What? God damn it. Carrie's will play the That's Nasty uh, stream sound. Harry! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, I, I think... will get the hose. I will admit Don't my. Worry, Don't, Don't worry, Carrie. I'll do it. I'll get to the hose. <laughs> Carrie, Carrie dared you to do it. Get all the hose. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll put the Paris line okay. in A tier. Uh, and Pokemon Legends Arceus. They are so goddamn aggro. I'll oh. bash you! Okay, there we go. I'll bash you! <laughs> uh, I'll put Oddish in A, Gloom in B, but... Uh, Vile Plume in S. We have a boy Kalani! Melikaliki Maka is the thing to say. On a bro oh well, I mean, I was gonna put that there, yeah, but <laughs> grab the wrong tier. I meant I meant to grab a Lolan executor and put that there too. Also execute. Yeah. Even though we never oh, really used fucking... him as an execute, like we basically evolved him as soon as we got him. It's still by association, Kalani. Yeah. So does that mean you're gonna use an Alolan executor during one of your? Uh... Uh, Gen, what is it? Gen 7 runs? Yeah, if I get around no. to it, yeah. 
No, actually, he's not using that because his grass type is Decidueye. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, his gen his Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon team is Decidueye, Golden Muck, Pokemon you're, like you you're acting like you can't just catch other Pokemon, which you did plenty of times in the first game. Yeah. Although, I guess you did that I just know, to get the bonuses but, from the game. Yeah. But we're talking about Pokemon he's using actively on the team. All right. I'm just saying, then again, I guess you also were catching a bunch of Pokemon for the sake of getting, like, stuff from the age, too, right? Yeah. All right. Like, we have to catch more Pokemon anyways, but we have a specific team that we've already decided on. Carrie, why? <laughs> what did Carrie do? Carrie played the... Carrie released the <laughs> Mario Death and Fort with Reverb. Yeah. Roserod is yeah. a really good design, so... Did you just say Roserod? Roserod, Roserade. Yeah, it's Roserade. I'm never, I'm never sure about some of the Pokemon names. Uh, yeah, the, the team was... Decidueye, Alolan Muck, Cheerform, or Choreo, specifically. Salazzle, Glycopod, and either Togedemaru or Lycanroc. Yay, Blossom's at least something good. Wait a second. Wait a second. So you're going to have two electric types on your team, then? Also, don't forget to... Like but it, the please. electric types that don't share any weaknesses, so... I love how you know that, but you didn't note the fact that we're using two poison types in the Lolan Muck and Salazzle. Hey, hey, uh, Silver. Yeah. Why'd you put Jump Bluff in D? Uh, because, jump bluff is, because Jump Bluff is trash. Yeah. It's actually not. Like, I. Okay, and jump, it's jump Bluff maybe. Jump Bluff maybe, but. Just the Hop Ip line as a whole. Ugh. They... Because it's technically based on a dandelion. I get that. That's not the part I have issue with. It's that stat-wise and moveset-wise, it's just so bad. Wow, and I get criticized for mentioning competitive stuff. I'm now, <laughs> I'm now, I'm now trying to remember which of the three Pokemon for Ultra Sun Ultra Moon I suggested. Because I remember. Slash and Low and Muck are my suggestions. They are absolutely my suggestions. But <laughs> Shit yes. out of us. I'm, I'm trying to remember admit. if it was or Corio or Galisapod that was my suggestion. But yeah, I'm actually gonna... wait a second. Actually, wait a second. You said Lycan Rock. Which one? There's like three forms. Oh yeah. Which one uh, are you going we're for? Gonna, we're gonna try to aim specifically for like midday Lycan Rock. But we're not gonna be torn up if we get dusk either. But well, I mean, it's dusk easy up midnight. To, I was gonna say it's easy enough to get what you want. You just have to evolve it at the right time of day, and given when you stream. Yeah. It's, well, yeah. It's, it's right. In case of there's what we do want specifically, but oh, we're not think, torn up if we get the other. Uh, what are you trying to say, Cookie? So yeah, the the he made the wise choice of putting <laughs> Tacmia and Captain in an S. Don't forget Maractus. But, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Entropius is actually pretty good for, for grass flying. But I'm gonna try to come up with something, uh, some, uh, like, some kind of moveset for Jump Bluff. Alright. But, yeah. Yeah. The we... whole... Eh. We have Remy's teams planned out through Gen 7, and we're going to be working on his Gen 8 teams soon. All right, let's see. Uh... Also, also, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say this one thing about your uh, Alolan team. It's weak. Why? No Mimikyu. I need Mimikyu. If I may finish what I was saying. No. Then go ahead. Go ahead. The problem with planning out his Gen 8 teams is that we don't know when he's going to be able to stream those. Because it's getting set up for Switch streaming specifically that he's struggling with. He can emulate the others, but Switch emulation still isn't there yet. Well, I did 
I mean, I did mention Citrus, but I think there was a problem with that. Yeah, no, it w it was it would just like. It would just make Bifrost, like, drag. Okay, so it's a Bifrost yeah. issue in that case. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I, if I had a powerful... You... If I had a powerful... Sorry, I'm trying to say, if I had a powerful enough processor or video card, then uh, I might be able to do it, but until then... The thing I linked you, Silver... I was actually going to make a suggestion. Um, you still have your, Forrest was trying um, to you speak. Your 3DS. Forrest was trying to speak. I, right. I, I took advantage of the pause only to quickly ask Silver if he's going to get the thing I linked him. Um. As I've been trying to say, nobody can do it. Gonna need to start bloody muting you, MSO, just so I can actually get a word in edgewise. <sighs> and Cookie. Oh, there's Cookie. Yeah, as I was trying to say, we already know some of the Pokemon that will be on Remy's Sword and Shield team, anyways, because he's always using Cinderace, and because I get three picks, I'm obviously gonna have him use one of the uh, Apple Dragons. Probably, um, probably Surfetched, though I doubt Remy would c complain about using Surfetched. Yeah, no. Remy? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, okay. And I guess another one of my suggestions would probably be... Would actually probably be uh, Grimmsnarl. Um, Grimmsnarl is awesome. Silver. And you, yes. It seems like you've also. Right, I'm a soul. Koki was trying to talk. Yeah, no shit. That's why I'm saying go ahead, Koki. I've actually been trying to say something, like even took advantage of a pause, but uh, I guess my mic was being fucking retarded. Anyway. No, we heard you. I'm a soul just. I'm a soul and I just kept accidentally no, interrupting earlier, you. Earlier, I mean, before you started talking for us. Because I, I was trying to ask a quick question to silver if he's gonna get the thing i linked him if i could afford it so basically the, you're waiting for your tax stuff yeah and even then it might not be enough well, well, by the way, set up something like um set, set up something on your announcements like saying that like and I... post your uh coffee thing and say what you're trying to save up for. Maybe you can get some peeps to donate. <sighs> Maybe. I was trying to say. I was trying to say. probably going to use a little majority of his, like, tax of tax returns for like stuff like his car and his phone and all that stuff, so he can keep those payments up, anyways. Yeah. Well, you could also start an OnlyFans and post pictures of his feet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a suggestion for streaming. Forrest? Um, what? Real quick, Forrest. What? You could actually make an OnlyFans for your cat, because I actually ran into an account that has an OnlyFans for, for a cat. And the cat's really smug and stuff and saying, you have to pay to get my high-quality pictures. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> no. That's cute. <sighs> it is cute. No. I'm absolutely not going to do that. Well, I know what I'm going to do with Harriet. But anyway, yep. I did have a suggestion for streaming, um, well, Silver, Silver, I did have a suggestion for streaming, um, for streaming, uh, the 3DS games. Do you still have your 3DS? Uh, yeah, I just need a charger for it. Okay, do you still, do you still have, like, your, uh, Sun or Moon games? Uh, I believe I do. Let me double check to be uh, sure. It, it, sun and Moon so reason... aren't the ones... What? Sun and Moon aren't the ones we're doing. We're doing Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon because uh, of the definitive versions. Yeah. Well, either uh... way, either way, the reason I'm asking is because apparently there are, um, capture devices for the 3DS. Uh, yeah, so I've, I have heard get, about those. So if we could get you one, so maybe we can we get know. you one of those. We do know it's a matter of it's just a matter of he's probably gonna emulate it anyways because knowing Remy, 
All right, I guess we're just going to have to wait for a better emulator or when he gets a better computer, one or the other. Yeah, I know, at this point I know Remy, he's probably going to go for emulation. Uh... Probably for the best, because save state. Yeah. I, I won't deny Anyways, that. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Let's Please. see. All right, let's see. Uh... Well, at least we're talking about Pokemon, so there's that. But anyway. Let's see. Uh... Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, nice. Ranking superior high. Also, As it deserves. <coughs> it is the it is the king of the snakes. <laughs> also, um, I found this out. Uh, I found this out recently. Um, apparently, superior still has arms. It's just holding it behind its back. I love that. No. No, those are the no. They're like the little leaves that are on its side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah those are. Really... Yeah, but he's not really holding them behind his back. But either way, I mean, it's one of those. No, it's... It, it's one of those things where it's like I thought I understood the design. I thought it just stopped having arms, but no, it was no, just I holding them behind its back. <laughs> it's basically it's basically a Naga T Rex. <laughs> yes. Except it's tucked its arms behind itself to look more regal. Let's see. Um. Hmm. The Sawada line. Oh, right. Come on. Or, let's see. Uh. You know what? I think it's a really good idea for um. Uh, Pokemon line. Yeah, let's let's start speeding through these because we've wasted half an hour talking. Yeah, why do you think I was so tentative about doing these at the beginning of the stream? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you were as well, simply because they know, were... there would be a lot of discussion about these. They were very insistent. <laughs> you made promises, mate. We're gonna have we're gonna try to have you keep them. Like I said, very insistent. I mean, that's why you... Okay, you can keep your promise, but you can also, like, prioritize and yeah. stuff like that, you know? It, it's, uh... it's more so that this afternoon... You know, Remy had promised that this afternoon he would do the the restaurant uh, tier list. And, like, then he just completely forgot about it within, like, half a day. So, me and Skyco are being a little bit more, you know, a little bit stricter with him right now. Alright. Oh yeah, speaking of Skyco, I noticed uh, Gardevoir is front and center on his, uh, <laughs> on his uh, tier list. I was That's wondering if... It's, it's his, <laughs> as you said, it's his favorite gen, it's his favorite Pokemon of all time, actually. Right. I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> it's uh... fine. I, I mean, look, my favorite see, Animal Crossing Expo. character is... Go ahead. What? See, x and mine, I don't... I don't think when I did the Ultimate Picker, x was at the top, was like my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon of all time, but it is now. Because, you know, opinions will change and all that. <laughs> I mean, and also the, uh... The, uh, Owen stream. I'm yeah. pretty sure that influenced it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm I not... did the Ultimate Picker long after that was done. All right, let's see. Uh, and and Xbox was my pick for that team, anyways. Uh, Skiddo and Go Goat. It was already up there for me. Wait, where you? Where'd you put Skiddo? Uh, Skiddo in A tier, Go Goat in S. Yeah, Go Goat's pretty awesome. Yeah, and um, uh, I will say I'm gonna put uh Chestnut in S, not because, not necessarily because I think it's good. But because I like the design, and especially the furry face, it kind of reminds me of Calvin and Hobbes. Mm. Well, I, I think surprised. someone actually, actually, funny enough, I think someone drew, like, 
that's not in the Calvin and Hobbes style. I'm gonna have to find that. That might have been me. Familiar. That might have been me. Uh, uh give me a second. Let... Yeah, but yeah, basically, I was gonna say, go go, it's awesome. It walks, so that way, Maridon and Karidon could run. Although then again, Ride Pokemon did appear uh, before Maridon and Karidon, but eh, either way, it was basically the first Ride Pokemon. Either either way. Let's see. Do 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 do. Yeah. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. So where? I can't seem to find it right now. I'll, I'll have to look for it later. Uh, okay. Yeah, Let's see. Uh, Phantom and Trevenant. <laughs> eh. I'd put them both in S tier, actually. Pokemon's version of Skull Kid, if you really think about it. Uh, same for Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist. Oh. Rowlet is friend shaped. I mean, Gorgeist is, I mean, I mean Gorgeist is pretty cool because not only does it come in different sizes, but the sizes are actually um, they actually have some kind of effect on the stats too. Yeah. Like different sizes have different stats, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Rowlet yes, is friend shaped. Of... Yes, it is. A famous. I say it sucks in the anime. Hey, I'm not lying. It actually kind of does. <laughs> in the anime, though, but not in the game. Uh, let's see. Moral and... Again, I, my opinion is kind of... Ah, never mind. Go on ahead. Just two things on a toe. I just said go on ahead. Uh, let's see. Uh... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. What? What's up? Uh, Teensy and Bounce Sweet in A tier, Sarina in S. I mean, I mean, you, I, I, you and I can defend you on this one. <laughs> Design. I mean, it actually is pretty good. Okay. Yeah, Trop Trop Kick is a really powerful move, and design-wise, Sarina is really cool. Yeah, I mean, I used to run one with a uh, assault vest with soft kick, rapid spin, high jump kick, and I want to say play rough. But yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, Delmice, I'll have to put in B, actually. It looks cool and everything, but it keeps making me think it's like ghost water or something, but it's, it, it's just, eh. Oh, wait, so the question is, why is it ghost grass? Like, no, 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 it's, it's, it's that, it, it's just the typing confuses me, because it's like, is Dark it ghost? water, you're the, you're the first one that I hear saying that, because when I first saw it, I thought it was a ghost steel type. It, well, it, it fucking should be. I was thinking ghost water, because it's in the shape of an anchor and a helm wheel. And also, well, it's grass... kelp. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why it's it's part grass type is because of the algae slash kelp. But because the algae is actually the algae is basically the real Pokemon taking control of a, you basically using an anchor. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Also, Gorgeist better be an S rank. I did. I put. I 
I put Gore Guys in S rank. Good. All right, let's see. Hold on, I gotta zoom out a little. Um. Don't forget to put me Oscarada, Spaghetti, and Florigato in S. Give me a minute. And give him no. Let him work, you two, please. What? Richard's not saying anything. Let, just... you, let him work, you guys, please. Why are you <laughs> saying guys? I'm the only one that's saying. Oh, there we go. Well, earlier MSO did say some things, I think. MSO so. was. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely putting Sprigatito, Floregato, and Mioscarada in S tier. Yeah. Yay, weed, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fucking weed, you piece of shit stoner! <laughs> uh... Yeah, I do love those cats. They're pretty cool. Especially Flower Trick, always cribbing and stuff. Yeah. Oh, boy. The fun things you can do with it. Yeah. Blah. I like what they did with the Applin line, just because it's basically a whole, all one big joke of it's a worm inside an apple. Yeah, it is pretty good. It's also a good excuse to make the grass dragon uh, combo. Yeah. Let's see. It is the best. Grass type line in the whole franchise. I will hear no arguments. The other ones. Uh, Calyrex. I mean, I'll put in given how dragon, and given how dragon tier works, yeah, really good. Which is exclusive to Hydrapple, so even yeah, before beam, that, it was the best. Yeah, I mean, Appleton was a good uh, <sighs> was a good bulky Pokemon from what I remember. I mean, Black yeah, you got four times weakness to ice. Flap yeah. no, Flapple was the best. Appleton's the best. They're... Appleton's the best. Flapple. You know why? You, you know why? Hold it gently like Margaret. <laughs> Alright, let's see. And uh... eat it. Yeah. Small if. Small if is small. Small if is small. Isn't it I like small if it's adorable. Oh, I like I like the whole small of line. It's pretty cool. Like I don't really use uh, it, but I see its potential. Like how you're meant to use it and stuff. But yeah. What's it called again? Brute Bonnet. Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the uh, paradox of Amoongus. Uh, I'll put both of these in A. I like the idea of like possessed tumbleweed. I thought it was a pretty interesting take. Wait, wait, so where did you put Brute Bonnet? Brute Bonnet is S tier. And what about, uh, wait, what about Amoongus? Uh, Fungus and Amoongus, I put both of them on S tier. Oh, good, F for sus. <laughs> I what? had to. What's so funny about Susus Amoongus? I hate <laughs> you both. <laughs> I... Hey, don't hate us just because hey, you only hate hate us because we got, as in, we got the drips. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, what's up next? Um, That one grass legendary, I forget uh, what it's called. It's the monkey looking one. That's not a... Oh, oh, the the room? Yeah. Yeah. Design-wise, I think it looks cool. I've never gotten the chance to use it. Well, it was also... I got this. Well, it's also like a movie-exclusive legendary, so you don't really know anything about it unless you watch it's the movie. It's a mythical! Well, either way, it was movie-exclusive, technically, so it's like... You can't really be blamed, anyway. Like, you only <laughs> were able to get it from a mystery gift. So, you can't oh, really be so. faulted. Yeah. yeah, you were only able to get it from a fucking mystery gift that came in the form of a code by the uh, Pokemon company's website, which honestly it's fucking annoying because they don't always end up being able to send the codes. Yeah. Alright. Honestly, the worst part... Oh, go on ahead, sorry. Uh, I think now that I'm pretty much done with the these tier lists and we taken an entire hour with them, uh, let's go ahead and play some Mega Man Maker.
All right. Well, I will say, as far as the Zarud uh, thing is, the sad part is the same thing is more than likely going to happen with the um, the new movie Legendary that everybody keeps talking about. But uh, oh well. I mean, either way, at least we're gonna. I mean, at least we might get something out of it. So either way. Either Come on, whoop. There we go. And let me just slide it over to the center. There we go. All right. Oh, I will say, I will say one quick thing about the tier list. I saw the other ones before, and um, how fucking dare you put Love Disc in F tier? I so <laughs> dare you. Love Disc is such a beautiful. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, that's it. <laughs> I, I, I had to. Anyway, that's, that's enough out of me. Go on ahead. Alright. Uh... Alright. Uh... Let's see what I got. Um... Boo. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and do a Wily challenge. Okay. Oh, who left? Oh, Carrie. Carrie left. Carrie left. Uh, oh, let's see. The fuck? Uh, La encontré yo! La encontré yo! Okay. A friend needs my advice as a DM. Alrighty. All right. Oof. Okay. Okay. Base Buster only. No double jump. That is a long ladder. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Snack eater. Snack eater. I'm still here My life. Honestly, it would have been funny if the boss of this uh, level was in fact Snake Man. That'd be funny. I don't think they have Snake Man available yet. Uh, uh hello. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? In that case. Yeah, because I have no other weapons. What am I supposed to do? And no checkpoints. Uh... Yeah, um... How about no? I can just skip and swap out to another level. MMR Dragon Man. Uh, let's see. Ooh, right. Uh... Stream info should be updated. I think I'll go ahead with uh, okay, 
Alright. Um, oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay. Good safety net. Oh, yeah. oh, are you? Oh, you're making it. Okay. There you go. Oh boy. realize it would be hilarious if somehow like you're like oh we're going for uh well the midday but we don't mind we're gonna get at midnight in terms of like not it's just funny if like some miracle you end up getting uh dust but then again <laughs> that is like super that's like a super specific uh time frame you have to meet anyway so yeah. also it can only be the gifts of rock rough anyways oh really okay never mind then I forgot about that. Oh well. Oh. Oh. So that's why I'm like, yeah, no, it's not dust because what? unless we somehow get the gift rock rocks, we're not getting dust. Yeah. Well, not only that, but you don't, you tend not to scream during the time when uh, that would be the case anyway. So that's kind of why I prioritize the whole life, or why I specifically mentioned the strict uh, time frame. But yeah. There we go. Oof. I think I found the tornado blow to be his weakness. I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to use an E-Tank. I've got eight of them.
That's actually kind of funny. Michael Bomb kind of just breaks him. Ooh, M tank. Qué pasó? A las tres de la tarde. Que yo estaba haciendo esa hora. Okay. Damage boosting saves lives. so much if I at least had one checkpoint. My worst enemy in Mega Man Maker. Bad checkpointing. I did not. I 
Okay. Yay. Congratulations. Uh so one checkpoint and it's Oh. Okay. That was a checkpoint. Is the potential frame. I kind of need that. R-A-R... -R Rarity? Sounds like there's a brony. That, not gonna lie, that was my first thought. I gotta say, some holidays are really fucking weird. Mom just told me about how apparently today is the national day of shit. What the fuck? Are you sure she just doesn't have a sour opinion of Valentine's Day? Well, that would be Singles Awareness Day. That's kind of like it's, the more sour version of... Oh, yeah, what's up? It's the 12th, not the fucking 14th yet. Damn it, also! Get the fuck off my air! Pop, pop her is standing on the ear. No, not the ear, the hair. Oh, the hair. Oh, that's right. See, that's the problem with having... Pound on the hair. Of course, that's the one problem of having really long hair, that either you pin yourself, or somebody else pins you. <laughs> I know. I, still, I don't care. I still want longer hair. You don't want it as long as I have. Yeah, but when you have, like, your hair held down, it kind of throws your balance off. Oh, there we go. 
do 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 do. All right, next level. <laughs> MM Animal Rage Roach Man Game Plus. Sound like a bell, Mr. Bubba Dumb Bell. Okay. Live long and prosper. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but whatever Forrest was doing, it sounded like an alien language. <laughs> I was I was singing I was singing to Lance. All right. And Lance is just like, oh god, he's gone crazy. Where am I smoke? And I th and I say the where am I smoke line because of that one picture of the cat carrying a cigarette in its mouth as it, as it's walking away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I posted that one before, but yeah. <laughs> Look, if you never talk baby talk to your cat. I mean, I don't really do yeah. that. Like, I mean, I, I'm more like, hmm. like yeah, I'll use like a, a baby talk tone, but I won't actually like, you know, do what you did with like the noises and everything. It's been, I like, was, oh, I was just yeah. like. I was just trying to find ways to rhyme with Bubba. I mean, the comic is really. Good. I'll just like randomly sing songs, and I'll make up random words to like rhyme in those songs. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it really matters <laughs> anyway. I mean, how you interact with your cat, it's fine. <laughs> really? Bubba. Well, what happened? It. <sighs> I was pretty sure that I still had some weapon energy for Flash Stopper, so that I could... Oh. Yeah, but it wore off at a really weird time. Oh. 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 Alrighty. Yeah, I'm almost done with this one, boy. I never knew about that. <laughs> Alright. So apparently if you use Time Stopper on the, um, those electric floors from, uh, on those electric floors from Fuse Man stage, Apparently, uh... Apparently, you don't take any damage from them. So... Huh. Also, where the heck am I supposed oh, to go here? Know, because as base, I cannot do anything. I don't think the level designer thought this through. Either that, or maybe you're meant to go somewhere else, or... I didn't see any I mean, other. He had to have, I mean, you had to have beaten it. Or is it a case where you can choose the character? It was a case where you could choose the character. Oh, that explains it then. Okay. Top Gun. And... Oh, am I going to... So I'm going through Top Man stage with unlimited rush jet.
Okay, got the Okay, was not expecting that. needed to hit a party ball at the end. Okay. How I didn't pick up on—I don't know how I didn't pick up on this before, but Silver, uh, but Forrest mentioned that you—you're uh, gonna—you're gonna probably use Grimstar on your uh, Sword and Shield team. Probably. Good. I'll yeah, show you exactly that... how. I, good. I'll, I'll show you exactly how I built mine for maximum frustration. As I was going to say, <laughs> because for Remy's three playthroughs, I get three suggestions, and that's gonna be one of mine. Along with Flapple, obviously. Okay, anyway, I was just saying, like, that's literally the only reason I asked, is because it's like, oh, I'll show you exactly how I built mine, for maximum frustration. <laughs> and all it is is just, like, it's just light play with, uh, both of the, uh, different types of fields. What, is it, um, light stream and reflect, along with, uh, spirit break. I think parting shot was the other one. Yeah, parting shot. I mean... Ooh, interesting. I mean, hey, it's worked out every... I mean, hey, it's worked out every other time. But let me tell you, those fields can make the difference. But we'll have to see, because some of those things might be egg moves. We'll have to see. Yeah. Huh. Uh, either way. 
interesting setup for a level, an obstacle course themed around item 3. Alright. Another generic Wily Stage version 2. <laughs> We're pretty much we're pretty much caught up. I mean, if you really want to watch this out, then sure. And okay, and it looks like we could. No, we still got mushrooms there. We're good. No, we're fine. But we still got plenty. We got still got plenty under there. So, uh, oh okay, yeah, let me get another key for the other side then. Yeah, that's why I'm. Cause I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna stick it over here. Yep. Oh jeez, that's actually pretty precarious. Invincible when she rolls. God damn it! Oh. Wow, so you're saying the character, the character named Roll has a very good roll? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like how base is very base. I hit the jump button. What are you talking about, game? Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. Um, when you did the fighting type uh, yesterday, where did you put Sneasler? Sneasler? I think I put it in S here. Fucking better F. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had said like anything left, I would have just been like, fucking damn it! Just obviously like you know, just in my obvious like rant and phrase, but yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's also not surprising, given how I used Sneasler to, um... Oh, jeez, how was I supposed to go through there? The... Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, good thing. Yeah, those will be up in about 20 seconds. Oh, yeah, I was gonna mention, yeah, given how I used uh, Sneasler to show you the benefits of close combat. Or at least one way to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Dodge all of this. 
Dang it. Ah. Uh... Doing here. One left. Oh, three left. Okay. What? Okay. <sighs> All right. This should be interesting. There we go. Alright, that should catch me a breather. Okay. Not what I meant to do, but I'll take it. Ah, ah dang it. Ah. Okay, now that he's gone. <laughs> nah, I got nothing. Uh, let's see. Anyway. I hit the jump. <sighs> Stupid health pickup. I didn't grab the ladder in time. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was stupid. Silver, I think I have an idea here. If you're going to do tier lists before, like, the main event, maybe it's the, for the best if you just limit it to one tier list. Yeah, that probably would be best. Because I'm pretty sure, even with the fast food stuff, I'm pretty sure there was some discussion that happened in the main, you know, yeah. in between also. So yeah. Then you'll have plenty of time for the main event. Yeah, that, that's, that actually sounds pretty reasonable. Freaking! Mm. I mean, Freaking! I mean, I still think it'd be for the. Oh dear. <sighs> RNG not. RNG not behaving. So, simply put, there's a. There's a string of jumps with a couple of platforms that immediately fall down as soon as I touch them. Oh. And. There are a couple of tellies that are flying in my direction, so I try to prep to, uh, you know, kill them on the way, but the, uh, but the, uh, the pickups that they drop threw me off my rhythm. Oh, I think I see why. Because, yeah, it basically freezes for that split second or longer, and then, yeah. Yep. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, probably looking at anything special. Okay. Okay, that one was purely me. Um, 
There we go. I guess I can oh. I botched oh. that. And I'm all the way back here. You know what? I'm skipping this one. I feel like the checkpointing could have been better. Even if you can't get the road. Okay. okay. Alrighty, I'll grab those later. Thank you. Concrete man, okay. but at the same time, it kind of felt like that was the point. Hmm. You, 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 you ever had that with the Mega Man level MSO? Hmm. Maybe not with a Mega Man level, but I do understand the concept behind it. Like, for example, in um, Super Paper Mario, there's this one level where it's literally just completely white, and you're just running to the right. Yeah, that because one... The reason is for this is because... Oh, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I, I know I know the section you're talking about. Yeah, it's like, that's kind of the whole point. Like, it seems boring, but it's the point. Like, I get what you mean. Or boring, empty, etc. But yeah, so, I get what you mean, but... As for Mega Man, um... I guess... Actually... 
Yeah, maybe the final level in Mega Man 2, where it's literally nothing, except like, like there's nothing in there, but the only thing that can hurt you are these red droplets. I guess there's that, because there aren't any, any enemies there, if I remember right, except for the red Um... Drop. I think the level designer made the boss door go the wrong way? Oh god. <laughs> so I can't complete the level as a result. Well then you gotta wonder how they completed the level since you have to beat it before uploading it. That's what so I wanna know and different. I didn't see anything obvious so screw it. I'm just gonna skip. Oh well. Uh, Castle Keep. PJB Gamer. Not PBJ Gamer. Or not PB Gamer. Yeah, I'd be raising my eyebrow if it was, uh, peanut butter in the game, but it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, what else we got? Kill it with fire! Oh. Freaking roaches! Robot roaches. Now that I've hit a checkpoint. Okay, that was just a bottomless pit. Yeah, I think I'll play it on it. Okay, this is an interesting gimmick. Basically, a staircase of these platforms that dim the lights when you step on them. This is the boss room then, or not.
There we go. Alright. And both your quarters down. Huh, I'll get that much chicken down. Actually, wait a second. Okay. Chicken on the and quarters down. Yeah, yep, two. And now we need four. <sighs> Alright. Let's see. Fireman Return. There we go, checkpoint. Thank 
Uh, anything over this way? Nah, I'm good. Son of a bitch! Of course I died just before the checkpoint. I see you up there. Dr. Wiley challenges. Okay? Thank you. Yep. I mean, it looks like I'm gonna need more anyhow with how empty that one was. Oh, yeah, this one. Aha! Okay, it's gonna be one of those kinds of challenges. Dang it. is quite precarious. Okay, <laughs> okay, I have an idea of how to get through this. If I could just get into the right starting position.
There we go. That one was easy enough. Adapter. And that's it. Okay. No. 
I just gotta not drop the boulder, otherwise I will squish myself. Oh. I think I screwed myself. Now what happened? Um, I can't put this boulder down. Oh, dear. And I'm stuck in a one way. Yep, nope, I'm... I'm done for. Oof, beautiful. Oh, well. Yeah, I had, I had to die, so... Uh, on the plus side, uh... Oh, the checkpoint was pretty far back, actually. There we go, it's a little faster. Alright. This part's a don't do anything. Not even to pick up the boulder.
Oh boy. Y'all right there? No, I'm just dealing with stupid people. Like I always do. Uh, you know how I said, you know how I made that joke in Forest Server about how my female coworkers whine a lot? Yeah, basically that. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> I'm honestly surprised Koki didn't comment on that unless he left and I didn't notice? Uh, let oh, me well, take... whatever. Uh, no, she probably just, uh, didn't hear ya. Stop. Other than that, if you're just focusing on catching shiny puppy gears. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Some don't do anything segments. There we go. Oh. <laughs> 
There we go. I am getting some deja vu here. And someone has entered. Still you're yeah. Still I thought you went to bed. I thought you went to bed. You sounded pretty tired. I said, I told Tommy I was gonna go take a bath partway through his stream. <laughs> Guess he didn't tell you guys that, though. I mean, to be fair, I mean, to be fair. So he's been pretty quiet, and I've been busy at work, so there hasn't really been a whole lot of scatter. I mean, they didn't ask. And besides, I'm just finishing up a Wily challenge, so... Well, maybe he would have had more time if he wasn't doing tier list before the stream, because I was telling him, I actually was telling him that either you should save them till after, or limit it, limit to one tier list per stream, so that way you have plenty of time for the main event. Sounds like a plan. I yeah, said, I, I said you can do them after or before. Like, I told, said these things to Remy. Yeah, I... Looking back on it, I guess he did, but either way. I made an offer for him to do it after he was done, or before he chose before. Also, uh, you said sounds like a plan. Yeah, it does. Why? Because I said it, so it must be right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, can you get your head out, you fucking ass? He was making a Dr. Weird reference. It better to be with Steve, and I wrote it, so it must be right! <laughs> now wait for further instructions from Talking Hole in Head. No, screw that. <laughs> Alright. There we go. And that was it. Alright then. Um... Okay. Uh. Hey, VX! VXW Cool! Didn't realize you were in here. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, I've been going on longer than usual, so I might not be taking any levels, uh, yeah. but. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and see who we can raid. I believe John's on tonight. Yes, he is. Playing Adam's Family Values. What the fuck? Oh, he's playing some old games. Nice. Yeah, apparently he's doing this for game clearing. Yeah, that is, I believe, a SNES or a Genesis game. I forget which, but it's definitely an older game. Yeah. Uh... What does John mean? Uh... 
Alright. Alright. Uh, we'll raid with... We'll raid with Nobody what? Expects the Shinobi Inquisition, and, uh... Oh, Of, well, you know, I know the... we, well, I know what uh, I know what we can do at the next family reunion. Because <laughs> of you know, all the together thing. now. <laughs> you, I'm so that's funny that you think I'm ever seeing most of those fuckers ever again. <laughs> I mean, given what you said, yeah. Well, actually, now we have an excuse to do it. Just drive by the re just drive by the reunion with the Adam Family music blaring. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know where she lives. I mean, you think I'm gonna tell you where she lives now that you're saying this? <laughs> I mean, you literally me. just I mean, you literally just said I'm never gonna see those fuckers again. So it sounds like you don't even like these people. So what's the problem? <laughs> see, this, this, here's the thing. I may not like them. I still don't want you harassing them like that. All right, let, let's 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 okay. go let's go ahead right. and let's go ahead and raid. Alright, alright. Um, I guess to I guess tomorrow, maybe another tier list or two, but also continuing on uh, Crash Bandicoot. Alright. 